So if you have any kitties at home, they'll appreciate you knowing about this plant. Um, and even if you don't have kitties, it's great for humans too. Uh, this is catnip. Um, it's a member of the mint family. It's also called cat mint. So what that means is it has opposite leaves. You can see the leaves are coming off opposite each other from the stem here and it has a square stem. Um, and the easiest way to tell if something has a square stem is to kind of roll it between your fingers. Um, and you can feel the edges here. Um, another way would be to take a cross section of it. There it is, the square stem. So the part you use is the leaves, like this here, and the flowers, which all of these flowers here, or nearly all of them, are catnip. And basically you just pick off the top. And ideally what you want is when it's just starting to flower or in the peak of flowering. Right now it's kind of past the peak, um, like the leaves are starting to die back and it's not really looking its greatest right now. So it's not the ideal time to harvest it, but it'll still work. It just won't be as um, powerful as it could be. The medicinal constituents won't be as strong as they could be. And here is the flower, and this is also typical of the mint family to have these little um, irregular flowers, as they're called. Um, they have the top and bottom lips, as you can see here. Let's see how close I can get. Oh, it's focusing, yay! Okay, and the final thing I'm going to mention for identification purposes is the smell. Um, not all mints are aromatic. Some of them smell a lot like mint. Some of them smell nothing like mint. Um, catnip is slightly minty. It's not going to be as minty as peppermint or spearmint, but you can definitely smell it in there. Um, and basically what you want to do to harvest it is pick like I said earlier, the top flowering portion, including the leaves and the stem and the flowers, and you can dry that out. Um, just make sure to put it in a place with a lot of ventilation and low humidity, um, and then use it for tea. It's great for colds and fevers. It um, helps you sleep. It's a sedative, and it's pretty tasty. Even, you know, it's a safe herb to take uh, even if you're not feeling sick. You can just drink it for the taste. So it's pretty good stuff.